Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, we are going to finish off the game layout. When the game layout, we need to make the board, and we need to make the side piece. So, first thing we want to do is go into split code and make a grid layout. Grid layout. This will be wrap content, and it's gonna have an ID of grid. That's ID. Margin start. Will be twenty DP. Margin left will be twenty DP. The background will be hashtag B. Six C nine D seven. Column count twenty. Row count is twenty. There we go. I'm going to add a button inside this grid layout so we can actually see it. So button. After we add it in, we can see it's in the button. I'm going to put it underneath this. Side. Side. And it's going to be 20 from the wall. Now we'll start building it. Inside the button, we'll name it E1. And that's all the button's names. All the button's names are going to be B1, B2, B3. The layout with twenty five DP height will be twenty five DP row will be zero column will be zero background. background will be another type like this. So we'll make a another custom background. So we'll copy this code. The drawable new drawable resource file. We're calling this A. And then everything else will be the same, but the colors. Yeah. And 
and this load okay just row six Let's see nine e seven and that's the color. So the background will become gray at rollable gray and X. Size will be zero SP because we don't want anything to show up but the color. And that's it. After we do that, we have to do it until we get all the way down to B150. So it's going to be 10 by. Ten by fifteen. So row count will be fourteen and the column highest one will be nine. So I'm gonna skip ahead until I finish it and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. After it's all done, it should look like this from B one all the way to B one hundred fifty. Put a grid layout and then we can move it over maybe like five. Forty or thirty five. I think I'm I'm gonna make it thirty five. After we do that, we're going to make another part of it, and it's going to be the side a piece of it. So we'll make another grid layout. And if it's red, don't worry about it. It'll load in. It's just saying there's like too much. There is to process. It'll load in. Because if there's nothing red right here, then everything should be fine. Next, we're going to make a, another grid layout, so it'll be grid, layout, wrap content, wrap content. Column count will be three, row count will be four, and that's it we connect it to the wall so move it down so that's like that. that's it i'm gonna cut cut off the end see everything will do it i'm gonna cut off the end The thing will be top from ninety five from the top. And ten from the side. Then we'll start building it. It's gonna use the same exact button type of layout that we use above, but it's gonna be a smaller version to show us the next point. What's the next object that's a object that's gonna come in? So this will be 
zero, zero. This would be small would be one. And there you go. Then we're just gonna do this. Twelve times. Oh well, eleven more times. Twelve eleven ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The column we want two and then. Switch the row. Two, one, zero, one, zero, two, three, zero, three, one, three, two, and Should look, be loading in. Yeah, that's what it should look like. So it should be lo loading in soon. I'll come back after it starts loading in. So it finally loaded, and that's what it should be a side of it that shows the thing. What to do is the point tally. In point tally, it's not in anything. It's just by itself. You go to the bottom and put it in. Point. And then we need to have the ID for the new grid layout that we made, which would be. Grid layout. And that's what it should look like. Then we'll do one more at this grid layout and go connect it to. And that's it. That's it for the video. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.